Uh, my name is Hans Klemm. I'm the uh, recently arrived uh, ambassador of the United States of America to uh, Romania. Uh, one of my priorities is to find ways to promote prosperity uh, between um, the United States and uh, Romania. And one way to do this, uh, of course, is to increase the flow of goods and services and investment uh, between our two countries. Um, and another way to, to do that is to uh, improve both the understanding but also the interaction between the uh, people of the United States and, and the people of uh, Romania. What we're able to do uh, today is actually uh, capture both of those elements, that is increase the uh, service uh, 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 trade between the United States and, and Romania. One of the leading service trades in, in the world is tourism, and so we're talking about in the end tourism uh, this afternoon. Uh, but then also, hopefully, to increase the, the number, the flow of, of Americans that come to Romania and, and learn about uh, this uh, beautiful country. And then per perhaps also in, in the end, uh, to increase the number of Romanians who uh, travel as tourists to the United States and learn more about um, my country. Um, since the beginning of this year, uh, the United States Embassy has been uh, seeking to highlight individuals and companies in Romania which uh, best embody the entrepreneurial spirit. These entrepreneurs uh, recognize the potential of a new or emerging business idea or opportunity, and then develop a focus approach uh, with drive and courage to turn that idea into reality. In 2013, Alex Gregorescu founded Bucharest Walks after 12 years working for large tourism agencies uh, here in, in Bucharest in Romania. Alex noticed that most tourists would arrive in Bucharest at the airport and then go straight to other Romanian cities for sightseeing. And while I, while I haven't visited Bran or Peles uh, castles yet, I understand that they're very beautiful, very exciting, and that indeed all of Romania, especially Transylvania, is uh, beautiful for, for its mountains. Uh, but Mr. Gigorescu regretted uh, that, uh, that these tourists did not pay enough attention uh, to the historic and beautiful city of, of Bucharest. So Alex decided to focus and offer small specialized walking tours highlighting Bucharest's architecture, its history, and the rich heritage of its minorities. He recognized both an unfilled niche in Romania's tourism industry and a significant growth potential. Despite many bureaucratic hurdles, uh, with courage, and entrepreneurship always requires courage, taking risks, he took the initiative to develop an, a new and unique service. By designing his own website and working with online platforms uh, such as Viator and GetYourGuide.com, Alex can now reach tourists all over the world and schedule tours for them even before they arrive in Romania in this beautiful city. Of course, there's still a role for the government of Romania. Uh, the government can help small-scale tourism ventures, such as Bucharest Walks, by establishing a framework for helping entrepreneurs access funding available to small businesses uh, through European funds, through European Union funds. I strongly believe that Romania has the potential to become a great tourist destination. Um, I've only been here for a month, and I've only had the chance to take two very short trips uh, outside of Bucharest. In the, in the coming weeks, I hope to visit and, and travel much more of the country. But everything I've heard uh, suggests that uh, Romania's beauty, uh, their very courteous and welcoming uh, people, uh, offer just tremendous potential for the growth of, of tourism in this country. And it leads me to to wonder if, if there perhaps isn't another role for the government of Romania to play uh, to help establish a, a brand uh, for Romania. Um, in, in preparing for my, my work in uh, Bucharest, uh, my sense in the United States is that Romania is not very well known. 
um, either for its contribution that is made to peace and security in Europe and elsewhere in the world, uh, the, the strength and, and skills of, of its people, uh, or uh, the beauty of its, its countryside. And so I think if Romania, uh, I think there's potential for Romania to uh, create a more effective brand uh, to increase the number of, of American tourists, and, and not only American tourists, but also from other parts of Europe and Asia uh, to, to visit uh, and explore Romania. But uh, Romania must improve its infrastructure, includes, uh, including highways and roads, um, and uh, create greater recognition of its natural beauty and historic attractions. Uh, so with this, I would like to, um, uh, to, to formally present with, um, Mr. Grigorescu with uh, this month's uh, plaque for uh, being the entrepreneur of the month. So congratulations, I, I, I very much look forward. <laughs> Company Alex on, on a short tour after the, the ceremony. I very much look forward to that. Uh, one of my favorite hobbies is to uh, to explore um, uh, urban areas. And maybe some of you have already seen me walking around uh, Bucharest, but the, the, now I'll be able to learn much more about uh, this wonderful city. I look forward. So congratulations, Alex. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have, would like to say a few words. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, business partners, collaborators, wife with baby. Uh, I really feel honored to stand today in front of you uh, because it means that uh, what I do at Bucharest Walks really has value and is really worth developing it. Uh, as you said, Mr. Ambassador, in the past I was really, in a way, annoyed uh, reading on the internet, for example, when uh, tourists were asking about Bucharest, what there is to see there, how much time we should spend there. Uh, many people were saying, well, have a quick look at the center and then set off to Transylvania because there is not really much to see there, which is not true. Uh, Bucharest Walks started with my passion for Bucharest, for its history and for its people. And I'm really happy that uh, the U.S. Embassy chose as a venue for this event this particular house because it's also a house full of history. Um, it belonged to Basil Hassan, one of the very important entrepreneurs from the beginning of the 20th century, a wealthy businessman, an adventurer, uh, explored, for example, the Arctic, was the first Romanian to travel around the world, and was also the first person to have a car, to own a car in Bucharest, <laughs> with the number 1-B. <laughs> Well, um, there was also a number 0-B because Prince Valentin Bibescu was not really happy with him having this number, so uh, he talked to, well, authorities and they, he received in the end 0-B. But anyhow, houses like this have a big history and there are so many areas, historical areas in Bucharest which are not explored by tourists at all. Of course, we have the old town, which is good that finally after decades being uh, in half in ruin uh, was uh, revitalized. But we have, s the city of Bucharest has a lot to offer. And I'm glad that more and more independent tourists are coming to Bucharest. That means that uh, it feels safe for them. And indeed, actually, Bucharest is one of the safest big cities in Europe. Um, of course, Bucharest walks means mainly walking tours, but we introduced also some tours by car. We will introduce in 2016 uh, also some day trips from Bucharest exploring uh, Transylvania and also the surroundings. Um, 
but Bucharest walks would not mean anything without good tour guides. And I'm happy to have here today present two of the best tour guides that Bucharest ever had. That is Razvan Tranku and Alina Rashovanu. Where are you, Alina? There she is. Thank you guys for the great work. Um, as you said, you just arrived in Romania one month ago, and I'm really looking forward to showing you around a little bit in Bucharest. And uh, I assume that your schedule is quite tight, uh, but you, if you ever have the time in the future, uh, you are gladly welcome to come back for more. So there is a Bucharest City Tour voucher for you. This is not you. a bribe. This is not a bribe. Yeah, I mean, there is nothing here, yeah? It's just a voucher. So together with your wife, friends, and family, please do that. And Thank you. I'm also sure, quite sure, that uh, President Obama's schedule is also quite tight. But <laughs> if he ever decides, or the future President of the United States decides to visit Bucharest, uh, please let me hand you over also a voucher for the President of the United States. Excellent. I'll make sure he or she gets this. Yeah. I just said President. I didn't mention any. And in the end, I would also like to give you a small gift that is a modern Romania photographic oh, document. Wonderful, wonderful. It's, uh, it includes photos from Bucharest and from all around the country. I really hope that uh, you will have the chance to explore it also in private Romania and Bucharest. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everybody involved in the organization of uh, this event. That means Michael, Sorry Bell, and the press department. Thank you very much. And then we have the third Romanian king, Karl II. Of course, because he was this one. Uh, living now in the western part of the country near Arad, right? uh, there is a small castle, a silver sheet. It's a village. It is the Eucharist. Um, in contradiction of what many Eucharisters believe, it's quite a clean city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course, you, you would find the dark bridge here and there. But it's changed dramatically. Indeed, in the 90s, okay, the city was not so clean, but... Um, I hotel. Atene Palace. The Atene Palace was built in 1914, at the beginning of World War I. But 60s uh, surrounding, actually, the whole former royal palace. Because this is the former royal palace. We will see it better in a moment. Um, this was another uh, China restaurant, the supper, oh, 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 oh. and it was one of the places where uh, wealthy people would meet. Was it so, 
So the Royal Palace of Bath thinks it's an excellent museum. So it was built in 1937, so only the last two remaining things live in it. Carl the second, as we know it, publicly at least King Michael never met was erected uh, and on the um, what is uh, there there is also a nice poster actually of Ceausescu over there uh, uh, uh. Uh, he is with his eyes closed and it says totally minunat everything is wonderful just the irony <laughs> <laughs> with the eyes closed everything is wonderful sorry, sorry. 